How we doing, guys? Welcome back. So, going into night three, we have had relative success so far in terms of keeping things under control. Definitely starting to feel the pinch of time scale, though, as we are basically this is almost halfway through the map, and we are uh, not exactly in the best of shape. I think I might need to change a few things around because I'm not a hundred percent sure I'll be able to do this map first time, which is fine. Like, I'm completely okay with a new map that you don't manage to one shot every time. But it is going to be the case that if I came in again, I'd probably have to switch a few things around. Definitely try and get an economy down a little earlier. Because you have a little more time than I thought you did. But not as much as, say, on the other map. So, something to treat for later. But, we're all pretty much set. So, why don't we just go straight into it. Uh, apparently, we've got new gear. Which I imagine is just something we didn't sell. Um, we'll hold on for that for now. We might be getting uh, trying to get other heroes in. And that selling that doesn't really guess anything right now. So, I split the heroes, we've got the tank on this front with the Isolation Specialist, followed by the other Isolation Specialist, and the Cannon. If you can't guess what my plan is on that front, um, what are you doing? But anyway, moving on. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Do still lack health regen on that bottom front, which is in the middle. Ooh, we've got Elites coming in straight away again, and Hunters! Okay, that's... Not the end of the world, but is troubling. So, do we need to AoE immediately? Probably not, but I think the idea I'm figuring out with the cannon is that it might be better off to essentially ration its usage with the concept that you can essentially blast a whole bunch of people one turn, leave it till next turn, do it again... But then you'll have to stop and start um, like managing the loads, which is going to be problematic. So first things first, we need to figure a way of clearing you. I want to AoE all of this, but that requires that guy to be dead minimum. Good. Man, glad we did it in one shot, because that was going to get annoying. Um, I'm probably going to move one and try to do it, but I don't know if I get far enough with just one. Like, ideally, it's that shot, but we don't have the moving points to get there. I don't think we have any ways of giving movement points over. So it's probably... Since the mortar goes... I'm surprised that is such short range, actually, comparative to the mortar. The mortar should be fine here, though, because what you do is you slam into that guy. Since the elite's here, I'm going to pop this early. And then just fire that once. Got a stun on the front guy. Managed to do very little to the actual thing. That's going to be... Managed elsewhere, I guess. Um, do we just do it again, or do we go all out? Going all out means we won't be able to use the cannon next turn. That's problematic. So instead, it's probably ideal that we do this. This does have risks, obviously. But otherwise, we're wasting the entire turn. really not happy he has to be out there but also I haven't really got a choice so pop them and try and back him up as best we can it's just the way he doesn't have range at the start that's annoying okay you are going to have to pick through everything else that you possibly can what's the range on yours you don't have the best movement so I can't really hop you over the wall reliably anyway if we can pick off all the crawlers that would be good don't know if we went there whether we'd have a shot on this guy which is my main target but I don't have a way of getting him in range unless I run all the way over here which I guess is fine we could do a poison attack there then run over there do I don't think we kill him in that regard but this is still the best option or at least reduce the amount of pressure coming out then pop this then run over here then try hit that guy Yeah, his range is going to be a big issue in this fight. Don't really have a good option for him anyway. Uh, you. Might be tempted to run you over here. Because there's a clear shot, actually. Now they're coming in on this bit and this bit. To be able to assist with killing this lot. Which would be a huge deal. Um, I also need to focus this lot here, annoyingly. Um, I think, given the way this is going to work out... 
We do have the new war shield to mess around with, but that's going to set off the poison shrine, which is... At least I think this is poison. Yeah, this is going to poison everybody. So ideally I want to do that while I'm not in it. Which is going to be hard to get out of, unless I do this. Cool. We do have plenty of health, so we can... Well, we have health regen, it's more accurate to say. So what we can do there is essentially just nuke everybody. Um... Does this do enough damage? Again, we do have the Elite in, so I might as well pop this early and just try doing what I can. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to be in that. That's a lot of poison to deal with. That Hunter's also going to be annoying. Or, you know, just fall over. One of the two. Wasn't exactly sure which. Um, could plow a couple of rounds into him. It's not the worst idea. Just try get rid of that elite at least. It's a hunter, so it needs to die. And then I guess a piercing shot isn't the end of the world. Like, it's obviously wasted on the front guy, though. So probably going to save mana in case we need it later. This is going to be a very short night, judging by up there. If we can drop him and try drop him. Never mind. Yeah, really, never mind. I guess we'll try drop that guy instead. Then you can sprint over. Start slamming in those. The war, the war shield, I think we pull out afterwards. There's no need to pull that out now. But th this guy up here will probably help just ripping this entire uh, sector apart without really an issue. So we might be able to shift this one up down here. That guy's still alive, which is annoying, but not the end of the world. Doesn't really benefit off that. Can he not cast that on himself? Oh, that's buffing someone else. Okay. I guess down there will be fine. Uh, might as well give you armor while we're at it. It's down here I'm concerned about. I've got no way of uh, protecting that guy at the moment. I guess we'll just see how to have... This I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. Those would be the words I was trying to say. Okay, he didn't die. That's the, that's the key point. Um, he is now surrounded, but this does mean the cannon works. And how much the cannon works depends on how much I feel like firing it. I think we definitely try kill that. So that's shot one. Shot two, three. Or five. Six, seven? Um, we only get six here. Yeah, the cannon's really good when you figure out how to use it. <laughs> it's just really awkward to learn how. Um, okay, so with that all said, and I don't think the gauntlet's a good thing to tie with the cannon, actually. If it, looking at how it works, gauntlet's too short range. So we're probably going to have to switch that out. Like, I, I've not I've not got a huge issue with the gauntlet. It plays all right. It just lacks that immediate impact you want out of this sort of weapon. If you can get one more along and hit them, I think you're best off. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, could blow up the wall. Unsurprisingly, that's not what I want to do. So instead, let's drop the dodge on any runners that are still alive and in range. Do have this to blow up. Again, I don't think that affects the wall. I'm not willing to try right now. And propagation requires us to be right next to it outside of... Yeah, it's... When you get this up, it's really good. Getting that up is a problem. Um, other than that... Probably just rip through what we can down here. Now that I think we've got the initial wave over, I think we're all right. Not as worried as I was just before that uh, turn, because I was very worried about that guy for a second. If you can hop to the other side, you can just pick everyone up in this area. I'm not so worried about um, this lot, but I will. Can I hit them with it? I can hit that lot. 
I guess that's fine. Do you need to pick that guy off? But poison will slowly whittle them down. Those guys won't be moving far anyway. It's very nice to have a corner where they can't breach it. Because normally what this sort of com um, conflux would do is hit the weak part of the wall and bust for it. There is a weak part here, but this lot are basically aren't touching the wall. So I only need to defend this tiny corner. It's basically like fighting down here, except both ways are split slightly, which makes AoEs better. Um, okay. Do we just see what uh, the wall of pain does? Okay, if I had a block tank, this would be even better. But, uh, yeah, that that does some damage. I mean, the idea is, as from what I can tell, it's 8% perk damage. Which I guess is all the other things, but it's like a lot of really good things come together for that. And plus, because we have leech, we can essentially just spam all of our spells. Which is so good to have back on a tank. I missed it so much on the previous maps. Uh, again, this can't be applied to him, which is very weird. Um, actually, is that just a shield bash that gives me block? I think you have to hit somebody with it. I'm not 100% sure. We'll try this ability later on. For the moment, just pop your armor just to make sure you're still alive. He should get attacked. That's what we want to keep up. As for you, as I've said earlier, this guy needs to die. And then I guess it's pick off all the runners. This might be the easiest night yet, actually. Definitely starting to notice that you like know, once you get over that initial like, area. What is with this guy? Finally. Are you the bad accuracy person? No, you're six percent accurate. He show he only should have had like an eighteen percent dodge. That was a lot of dodges for eighteen percent. Okay, and then Do we have anywhere we could just slam rounds into? Because again, this is a very short night, so I'm not hugely bothered about chucking mana around. I think this lot was supposed to be more difficult down here. Um, the cannon kind of made it a joke. I mean, these two are dead, so there's no point hitting them. Step to the side. Can we hit that guy just in case he gets to the wall? Never mind. Uh, got you, but there's nothing I really want to do with you. We have to let the cannon cool down. So, yeah. That is definitely the best of new weapons at an initial glance. The cannon is good, but only at the moment because we have a full multi-hit guy who's just going to go nuts. Like so. I'm also curious because this says base mana cost. So I'm assuming this half doesn't apply here. So we'll either go to 7 or to 9 after the shot. Which is very important to know what, well, what's going to go on there. So... Knowing we might have to hop the wall again. It's the, it's the bad thing of not being able to get enough range. What range do we have to kill stuff at? Four or more. One, two, three, four. What's the range on this? Three to seven. Basically, we have to max range kills. Uh, I don't think we're going to get a best shot, but two there. Two there. Don't care about this slot particularly. That's overlapping on the next shot. That's not. That also isn't. So that hits two that are four away. That hits three that are four away. Okay, that works better. That gets him the extra skill range. That's very important because that massively increases. Yeah, so he's going to be a ramper because all of his stuff only really gets good when it's ramped up. Knowingly, that hits the wall. I don't want it to hit the wall. Uh, but I really can't afford to step anywhere else outside. I mean, I could. It wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world. I guess killing that guy helps. Or trying to. Potentially, the plan is I need to step there so I can still leap back over the wall. Delete that guy. we need to do every six enemies hit grants the things so we will get the empowered version if we just clip this guy oh it's counting down not up okay so we need to do uh 
a lot more than that. In which case, because I can't do anything other than this, I might as well just spam this. Put that on him to make sure he dies. And then get back over the wall. With the extra range, hopefully it'll start being a case where I don't have to be over the wall constantly, but it's it's not looking that way right now. If you get down there, you still can't hit that guy. I can't throw you over the wall. If I step there, I can hit that guy. Okay, that's fine. I just need the hunter dead. Then we can step over here and kill that guy minimum. Chuck a poison on this slot. Try kill that guy, I guess. And then try kill the runner. That should help out quite a bit. Okay. Other side. You. How are you looking? I mean, it's a decent slam. Is there a better way of getting a better slam? I think if I ended up there, I hit more. That requires you picking a lot of people off. I mean, actually, it would have... I'm trying to debate how much effort I put into getting a better hit compared to just, you know, hitting people. I think, actually, that works. Yeah, I knew I was going to have to put extra in, but thankfully we do have the mana to mess around with on this one. Uh, switch over to here, try pick off all the people in front of you, and then if there's anything left, we'll focus on what's left at the back. Bear in mind, the more shield skills we use, the less damage they'll do. But hopefully, with that all said, there is a slam there. I like it. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's helpful, but I'll be honest, considering we have these, we might as well use them. Whittle them all down. We can probably get away with an armor thing, but might as well use this while it just gives us health back. They'll die, that's fine. And then I think. I mean, we can get away with that and start cutting into them. Yeah, that works. This guy's gonna be annoying on this side. Might need to think about how to kill him. He's yeah, he's in range, actually. So, just remove that guy. And that guy. Well, thankfully we have another shot, but... This flank up here is pretty much cleared out. There will be more coming in, I assume, but they're all bunched up. Get the war shield out. Just I don't know whether... I don't think it matters which weapon you have out. So, it's almost like a passive, but I, I'm going to have it out just in case. Don't think any of that matters. Okay. This is quite quick, man. I like it. There's still chip in the walls down there, but it's not categorically ending. Uh, so it went to four, so it did go to nine. So it is like thrifty doesn't affect heat generation, but it does still let you do more. That is good to know. Um, I'm trying to think. Do I just AoE everything again? Is that even necessary at this point? Because I'll be honest, that block up there are all just going to melt. Because I think I just cut in... Where would be the ideal place to cut in? I want to say here again. Like, slam from there? Knowing that I don't quite do enough damage to clear this all. Uh, do need to kill that guy, I believe. And that guy over there. Guess that guy over there is the priority. We'll figure out the rest in a minute. You will die, mister. You will not live this turn. And then I do need to stop that crawler getting in. Like I said, I need to stop that crawler getting in. Someone else is going to have to pick it up. That's going to be annoying to do, because we're considering positions, but I'm sure we can figure it out. You cut through this guy. End up here. Slam? 
Love it. There's still a hunter at the back, though, so I do need to get through him. That's 148. That has momentum on it, though. And we do have quite a bit of momentum built up. So this guarantees a kill. Assuming it hits. In fact, I think that uses our momentum, doesn't it? So probably the time to test this out. Okay, it does kill him. If we have spiky block, it'd be a lot better, but we don't. There, 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 and there. Try weaken everybody, if not kill them. Get that out just in case. Cannon. I mean, is there a good cannon shot? That's what we should figure out first. It's like that area, and then that area. We're only getting freeze, but I think that's fine, actually. So it's one, two, three, four. Uh, annoying, I can't see that guy because of the pillar. Hmm. Did I see him from where I was? I could. In which case, the best way to do it is hop over. Which just reduce our range buff, but I'll be honest, the night's going to end pretty quickly anyway. Okay, that ended well. And then... Anything we can hit from here that actually matters. We need to hit two people, essentially, to make it go to the AoE stuff. Which would be there. It's not the end of the world. Like, the wave ending, I can push out. So I might as well. And then Geo Reservoir, if we step... I don't think it matters, actually, because we can just fire from there, can't we? Yeah. Try get rid of that guy. And then just step back, I guess. Should be enough there that this guy can now just clean up. Might even bring him up to kill that thing. So that one's dead. Can I ignore that. Run all the way up here. That puts everything we need to in range. Cool. Two action point left. Could move into. I don't think we need to focus on this guy. Nothing else really is in range, though. And we're not going to kill everything. So, pop. No, there's no point in popping that. Okay, just end the turn. Yeah, everything major is up here now. Slight chip damage on the walls. Barely noticeable. Uh, get rid of that guy. Everything is now up here. Probably just going to be run as far as we can and might just have to leave it at that. I mean, I can, I can cannon, but there's nothing really to cannon that's in range. Like, I could clip a guy, but I'd rather just save the heat in case I need it next turn. So everyone else is going to have to do something. You have plenty of mana, so let's be honest, there's no point you not doing anything. Uh, how does that look right now? Why is it not hitting those guys? That looks much better. Leech blood magic is easily the, still the best combo in the game. And they are never going to change that. I'm glad they won't because it's hard to land. But it does mean with the way they give out um, perks now on those amulets, it's easier to get. Which is a concern and a buff at the same time. All right, you pick off everything over here because you can't move. There is still some more coming on, but uh, to be honest, that, that's unlikely to live. And then, can you hit anyone else? No, I could pop that just to get up here. I, I don't think it matters. In fact, can you even shoot for that rune stone? No, the rune stone blocks line of sight. So get there just in case, but it should just be a case that you rip this lot to shreds. Okay, so... War shield, definitely good. Cannon, situationally good. Gauntlet, tricky to use. I'm not going to say it's bad, but in terms of the... It's a magic weapon, isn't it? Yeah. In terms of magic weapons, book, 
and that sorts definitely seem more strong. Like, at least on an initial look. Is this a level 1? Is this a level 2 gauntlet as well? A level 2 book would have ripped everything to his shreds. It does cost mana, but you at least get a non-mana cost that has decent range. So, not sold on the gauntlet. But yeah, moving on. There's probably some super secret build that would work really well with it, but I have no idea what that would be. Uh, so, while we have it, just cannon. Because cannon... I don't think I need to explain that one. And then whoever. I don't think anyone particularly needs to worry about mana. I mean, this guy's going to have less mana than full. You are full. You have plenty. Just like both the casters have plenty to spare. It's just a case of trying not to spend all the mana with the cannon. But the cannon is a really good AoE right now. Admittedly, we do have this guy now. So, you know, that's going to hold a flank on its own. Yeah, there should be some decent corpse piles as well, because they've all ended up bunched. And there's an elite in there. Minus 110 health loss, because this girl's health was going up and down so readily. I think that's the first night we've had that isn't panic level 1. Uh, we didn't get um, the quick one, even though they only just came on the board. Oh well. Uh, yeah, we're really going to need to build an inn, aren't we? Because that cut off a lot of the corpses, and they're too close to the walls now. It's annoying, but we are going to not an inn, a seer. So we do need to get this down. This is not option, right? Then. Since we have the gold mines, the gold mines. Do need to work to push that back. Why is that two cost? That should be one cost at this range, but don't really get a choice at this point. And that leaves us one. Now we do have gold to upgrade these if required. We should still have one that's at level one, which is you. I'm thinking, since we lost the red one, we do have the option of just doing this, which will be decent gold income. But we need to upgrade this once more. But I also need to get more heroes in. Uh, swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. How much gold does this give me? 80. I mean, it's definitely worth doing. That's the most efficient use you're going to get out of um, all this. So that into that into hero upgrade. Annoying when we can't get shops down or health things, which is going to affect that, but whatever. Um, getting a hero in, that's not going to be easy. Still looking for a tank, which is not you. Any of these guys even half decent tanks? I mean, he comes with a war shield, doesn't have the poison tree, annoyingly. That guy's not bad. Very expensive, though. And then you... If anyone, it would be this guy, but that's very expensive. We're going to have to see if we can afford that at all. Uh, do have this, but we aren't going to be able to upgrade this particularly well at the moment. Do we need a rifle? Do we want a rifle? I mean, I can't really say no. Rifles are really good. And rifle might serve as a good counter on the cannon rather than the gauntlet. So we might be moving away from the gauntlet here, which is fine. Do we know what level our war shield is? I can't imagine it's a free. Free must be better. And with how good it is, that's definitely going to be an option. Um, so for the moment, put that there. Might have to consider selling stuff around. This might be the point where we just change a lot of things. So the gauntlet I'm not particularly happy with, so we're going to swap that out. Uh, might as well do level ups while we can. So this is mage. Specialist mage is not bad. He's only using one set of weapons anyway, and that is just more damage. Uh, don't particularly care about max mana, I believe. Yeah, we need. We actually want to lose mana quickly, but damage is definitely going to be a thing. 
And then mana regen's good. It won't be effective for too long because it's a short map, but definitely worth something. Um, you don't have mana. It'd mostly be hell. Health is damage. I mean, we don't even have the poison skill, so I don't. This point's technically doing nothing right now. Um. That does massively increase his damage. Never going to get use out of that. That does have uses. Enabling us to run around much quicker. Uh, it's probably this, isn't it? Although admittedly, with the way we spend health, that's also a viable one. I'm going to pick up this first. This is probably next. Uh, here, all this is not great. Accuracy would arguably be the best thing, but let's just see what else we can get. This outweighs this because of this. Damage would definitely be good, but there are better options. Healing Receive would help out. Don't get me wrong. Just not really what I was looking for, so probably worth a roll. Momentum's not bad. The healing receive is better. It's annoying we have to go for the healing receive, but there are worse options. You are... I mean, you could go crit-based. You're not particularly good at that. Um, I mean, he's constantly wounded, so that's not actually really an option. Definitely don't like either of these now that we're going with this idea. Not sure any of these are particularly good. Don't like shorter weapons with the way he works right now. Um, hmm. Just not a particularly good one, is that? I guess get this and try and get him out of wounded. Because that would massively increase his movement tiles, but it's just awkward. Definitely can't go this if I want to keep the cannon around. Again, I could roll into crit on the cannon. It's not the worst idea in the world. It's just awkward. I don't really see a better one. And then later on we can grab like this and this. Because now we actually have stuff to spend our action points on. Again, could roll into crit. Not the biggest deal in the world. Pushing that up... Doesn't help out hugely. So I'd rather go crit. <laughs> Propagation advantage would be good. Pushing that up gives us another mortar. That's actually quite strong. Or two mortars, depending on how good we can use Thrifty now that we've got this. Um, okay. And then the final person, action point, it always... There's never a reason not to take that. And then here... There's nothing screaming at me, so just roll again, hope for something better. You're not crit-based, so none of that matters. That's going to be probably the best one. Here wise does just have a ton of action points, but nothing to overly use them on. Don't think we need this. That's probably the best one I'm seeing there. Nothing else is screaming out at me, so short. Sure. Okay, now we need to work out how much we can sell and manipulate things. We do have some gold, but again, I want another hero down minimum. I wonder if you can do double gauntlet. Really get that stacking, but then you'd need a lot of base skill range. Would be difficult to pull off. You definitely need like a solid build for gauntlet. 
So, how much do we need? Alright, let me calculate this. Spears 66. That's more than we're ever going to be able to get. So getting that person is off the limit. So I guess we don't pick up next to hero this turn and just roll with something else. Which is probably maximize workers to maximize harvest. Yeah, I can't see a reason that isn't the best idea. So we don't have any one tiles in there to rip apart, do we? No, so probably just grab an item. Gonna oh, hang on, is that cannon actually better? Because it's wooden. Min damage is the same, max damage is slightly higher. Not the best sort of thing. Probably a reroll here. I think we can do better. The wooden cannon with momentum. They come up with some weird stuff in this game. Uh, one more time. That's more interesting. That's definitely more interesting. So, no one's really a book person, though. But it's still an option better than this. Because for single target, we have a lot already. And mana-wise, he wasn't using a lot. Lightning's definitely going to be a thing we can use. Just doesn't have this for it, but whatever. We can switch it all out later. So, just quickly set up for next time. Oh, we've got to, you know, build some walls. That would be helpful. Do we have enough to repair all our walls yet? We do. Probably time we slap that in. And all our walls stop looking like they're going to break at the slightest touch. We need to fill that gap in, that gap in, that gap in. That gap's probably the highest left. And that way we at least have two solid walls. Down here we're going to get a lot of AoE, so cannon in the middle seems ideal. And then probably you two just stand there. And then you stand there. Cool. Or at least as good as it's going to get. Try and save as much gold as possible. Again, could sell some of this stuff. No reason not to. Does give us up to 80. Which is another one of you. Like trying to just maximize out your workers early on is easily the best way of using them. But nothing to use this one worker on at the moment. I guess just harvest gold from one of you beasts. Cool. Nothing else we can really do, just deck there aren't any like easy grab items in the shop. Because I do still have gear I could grab if I felt the need to. Again, I'd love to get some of these. But I think that's going to be out of our reach. How much does the cannon sell for? 12. That's not really needed, so that's 17. That's not amazing, but it's useful, I guess. How much would I need? 44. So 17. That's not really useful, so 22. That's actually negative. 24. 30. Uh, that's not actually useful. So 35. Minorly useful, but not amazing. Same up here, because that's not really being used. We have enough that we could sell it, so let's strip some people and just sell it to get that better cannon, and that will hopefully save a lot of effort on this flank. Should have done this earlier, but I was trying not to cheese everything. Grab this. Very tempted in this as well, by the way, but 
since we're here to experiment, we might as well experiment properly and just get the cannons to sorted. Uh, what pants do you have? They're actually better pants than what I have in there right now. So that's fine. I guess I could just give it to you. No, minus accuracy is bad on anyone else, so just get rid of them. Cool, that'll have to do. So I'll leave it here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.